Rajaban for fighthype.com with me. Future world champion. God willing. God willing. <laughs> I don't think he was happy today to take off his shorts. I wasn't, bro. That was, uh, that got me upset, man. Do you, do you think there's something wrong with the scales? 100%. No, I know there was. I've got three scales at home, man. <laughs> three. I've got weights at home as well. Like, you know, dumbbells. Without the bar. Yeah. So I'm, it says how much it is. It's metal weights as well. It's not little plastic ones. I've got three weights, three scales here. I put the weights on each one. When I left my house, I was 175. So how can I put on two ounces? Obviously it's boxes, it's like a little bit, it's like spitting like eight times. Mm. But it's still the fact of having to take up the box on stage. And the, the reason it was flickering, it, it never stays still once. The reason it was flickering is because so many people are standing on the stage and the stage ain't level. Mm. But it's boxing, there's only a couple um thing I took my boxes, I was still on weight. So. Well there were rumours still claiming that Javonka Davis wasn't on weight and he was running earlier this week and today he was two ounces over as well. So, could it be the scales? I think he was two pounds over. Yeah, two pounds yeah he was two pounds. pounds, I was two ounces. Two ounces is like, it's like if you've yeah. got a palm of water in your hand like that and threw it, it's like your boxes basically. When I took my boxes, I was under. Yeah. So it's like, it's different, but... Must have had a chocolate bar on the way here. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Um, it's your first title fight. First title fight. First title fight. Do you think you're being moved at the right pace? Do you know what I do? Because I believe everything is time, man. I believe sometimes, not sometimes, all the time. When you're a believer of God, sometimes you just leave things into God's hands. You do your job, and my job is to work hard, believe in my team, and trust in what God's put around me. Because things don't happen by accident. Tunde, I'm not Tunde for a reason. I've got Ade in my corner for a reason. Some certain people in my corner for a reason. So. What did they say? Um, work and let live or something like that. So, what's it saying? You're making a word again. <laughs> uh, you, let, you let it be what it's going to be in it. So, that's what I believe in. I believe that's the higher power. That's, that's God. So, if it's time. Yesterday at the press conference, the first time I actually saw you, were you having an opponent where you were kind of giving it? Well, I, 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 I was, when I say giving it, I don't mean it in a bad way, but yeah. you, were, you were quite talkative mm. with your opponent. He was talking and you stopped him from talking and interviewing. Mm. Are we seeing a different side? No, is this you, you know growing and maturing and understanding the game? <laughs> you know what it is? Every fighter has a lion. Some fighters have a lion in them. I've got that lion in them. So, even my opponent, I think he's very nervous because he started talking. I could tell he's not a talker, he's a very friendly guy. He would say something, go, I'm joking, mate, and shake my hand. But, bro, I, I hope you're serious for this fact. It's not a joke. I'm not going in there playing around with you. So, come in there and do your job, I'll do mine. But don't be saying stuff like, he's looking at me and looking away and saying that like, he was nervous, so he said something. He just said something like, um, it's real now, or something like that. It's, like, it's about to happen, it's real now. So I looked at him and I said, if you're going to talk, look in my eyes. Don't, don't look away. And he goes, oh, I'm only joking, mate. I said, no, it's not a joke. I said, what's not a joke? And I stared in his eyes, I went silent, and then he looked away again. I said, you don't know where I'm from. You, 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 you wasn't raised how I was raised. You don't, you don't look in a man's eyes, say something, and say, I'm joking. So, anyway. Boxing's a, it's a fun game. <laughs> Everyone has that lion part to them, but you know. But do you enjoy that side of You've seen a close friend of yours, Ahara Davis. Oh, yeah. Relatively unknown, right? And do the build up with that Derry Matthews fight, he became more vocal and vocal. And Derry Matthews led to, went from Derry Matthews Liverpool to Floyd Mayweather. Mm. And, and you built his profile quite significantly mm -hmm. since then. I think he was number two most trended person on Twitter. Yeah, 800 and certain views with Floyd. Yeah. 800 and certain thousands. Yeah. So yes. do you look at him and say, you know, you got to be a bit like that to get more notice? No, 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 no. I believe in being yourself, as I said before. Believe in the higher power. Things happen at the right time. Um, Ahara is totally different. Um, Ahara saw Floyd. Ahara has seen Floyd before. So he spoke to Floyd as well. Before. I'm baiting him up a little bit. He spoke to Floyd before that happened. But it's all about being smart. He saw Floyd. Floyd knew what he was doing as well. So Floyd paid into it. So Floyd knows about publicity and everything. So Floyd afterwards, when the cameras cut off, Floyd went, I like you. Like, you're smart. And then he drove off. So it's all, that's what it is. Uh, again, Floyd was, I was talking to Floyd at um, the open workout. This guy is so observant. He went on Google. Me and Tunde were talking to him. He went on Google and zipped me up. I want you to answer yeah. that because that's <laughs> what I heard, like, he actually Googled yeah. you. Yeah, he, said, he Googled me and so he watched like two of my facts. Because you know my facts are kind of quick. <laughs> so he watched two of my facts. And he goes, okay, okay, you got skills. 
I see you, I see you. And then he let the, um, the lead left hook when I fought in um, Texas. Mm. I said, you know, that's only your shots for it. I'm a person I always have respect. Mm. Floyd's not the one I'm going to fight. I don't need to get to have up to Floyd nothing because Floyd's someone that I study. Mm. Floyd's someone that's a pin. Floyd's someone like a role model of what to do in the school, not to get hit, um, invest smartly, etc. As he would even tell you, he'd done things when he was younger that was that was wrong that he would do them different in terms of his attitudes and things like that. So that's why I say I believe in being myself. Mm. And then at the right time, things happen. Ford called, him, called himself Pretty Boy at the beginning of his career. Yeah. Later on, he turned to money. And he had two no. couple of different personalities within those two brands. Yeah. Yesterday, he said to Javante, what do you want to see? Do you want to see Pretty Boy today or do you want to see money made by today? And Javante said, I want to see Pretty Boy today. And you saw what happened with yeah. Floyd, but when you talk about that respect, do you think yesterday what Floyd was doing was just more publicity or was he trying to undermine his opponent or the opponent for Javante? It's Floyd, Floyd, there's a reason Floyd is a high pay-per-view star in the world. He's just showing Javante the ropes of how to do it. Mm. Get the crowd interested. Because usually, like even me and my, I'm at that stage right now where I don't need to do all that. Mm. Um, but the press conference before, if Floyd wasn't there, it would have been very dull. Mm. So that's what people need to understand. It's, it's like WWE, you need to entertain. Mm. The people start, when, people, when you hear people laughing in the crowd, even though it's just me though, when you hear people laughing or grunting or you hear people making noises, people are interested. Mm. So it's about interacting with the crowd. So it's like, when I've, when, when I've got my problem, he's being so respectful, but again, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, disrespectful, but I'm trying to also understand, yeah. make people know that there's a fight going on. Mm. So I just say, so like, listen, no, nothing was given to me. Mm. I work for what I, um, for everything I've got. Mm. So it's a bit of animosity there. So it's like it's just a bit of entertainment. It's about just being smart. People come, they pay the money, they want to see a fight, mm. and also a build up. The majority of people prefer watching Floyd's all access the natural fight because it's so entertaining. Mm. So I think that's what he's showing Javante to do. But you personally, obviously, when you go in the ring, I see you demolish your opponent. The last person you fought in Leicester. Yeah, Leicester. Um, I think he had some broken ribs. Yeah. But for you, you know, people have this thing about an undefeated record one and then to that knockout record by knocking out all the opponents. Is that important to you? The, the latter, obviously the undefeated, of course, but is it important for you to go in and knock something out in the first round or would you rather get rounds and build this stuff up? Well, as, theory as I said before, um, I believe that what's going to be is going to be. What's going to be is going to be. It's clear that my path right now is to be a knockout artist and later on down the line, you know, all, I feel like all the greats, all the people that was great in the sport, not to put opponents early in their career. You get rid of people that are journeymen, no, no disrespect, but journeymen, you knock them out. They're not meant to be, they're not in the same calibre as you, so you knock them out. Um, as you go up in class, then you need to show different aspects of your skills. Box, um, yeah, you might catch someone with a shot, they made a mistake, so you made them pay, you knock them out. But the beginning of your, your career, it's not about can I go round, you need to be confident you can go round. Yeah. If I'm in there where someone uh, is taking hits from yeah, me, I'm not going to sit there and tap him yeah. to make him last rounds. I'm punching, I'm trying to punch through. Yeah. So that's what's been happening so far. Yeah. As I said, everything's timing. In the right time, we get the opponent. Hopefully, it's when I get to the world level. Because yeah. I don't feel like. Maybe you can employ fight height. You know, you know. You know, you know. You know. <laughs> Final prediction what's going to happen Saturday night? Well, I'm, I'm focused on my fight right now, so um, there's going to be a knockout. I won't say which round. Um, but I would advise everyone to tune into BT Sports Box Nation. Um, for the American fans, tune into Showtime. I'm not sure if they will show my fight or not. I'll, I'll find that after. And if not, to check it on YouTube. <laughs> As American say, YouTube. Um, but yeah, it'll be a brilliant night of boxing. If you haven't got your tickets, you know, you're unfortunate because this is going to be an atmosphere. Everyone knows English fans go nuts when it comes to boxing, especially when it's America versus England. Um, it's going to be good. You see America versus England, it, that is the main event of the night. Yeah. Liam Walsh. And I know you know Liam quite well. He yeah. had an accident, in, in a car accident, he broke his hand, he's out of the ring for a, a period of time. I hasn't had any opportunities. He's back now, he's got his world title chance now. Mm -hmm. What are his chances against? Who's someone Floyd describes as the next big thing? Um, it's boxing. So no one thought. Um, Mike Tyson's gonna get knocked out by Bug, Bug what's his name? Buster, Buster Douglas. Douglas. Um, no one thought um, Ali was gonna get beat by who is it, Joe Frazier? Or you know, so it's boxing at the end of the day. It happens. Um, Chocolito, Buster Ali. 
mm. you know all these people so it's that it's boxing it only takes one punch mm. or it takes a bad night mm. so you know things like this Javante is very young he's never he's, I remember people don't people forget that he's young mm. 23 I don't um, from what I know Floyd wasn't traveling that young um, you know, so sometimes the experience as well. So to be that young, to travel to England, England, you see them what their fans are like. They have, they, they can drain you from the chance they do all these other things. So you know, Javante was in there. Um, he failed to make weight. Um, they got onto him, and I see him. He panicked a little bit. So now he's losing the two pounds he's got to lose to go back. So again, that could play on his man. Press conference, the fact that Floyd's talking so highly about you. All these things, so it's like, things I'm seeing as well, you learn from them. So a fact of this magnitude, for him to come over to England, you know, I could go in, be him, Lucia's favourite.